Hey guys, welcome back to part three. Oh, we got a message from Professor P uh, Fig. I almost said pig. And uh, he sent us a email through the worldwide owl here to come talk to him. Do, 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 do. Been through here. Oh, that one room. That's that room above. You in here, bro? Hurry up, Moth. There you are. Let's go. Gotcha, bro. I'll make sure to call on you. Revelio. I saw something. It's in here. Um. Hell of this. Going downstairs. Revelio. Where's that at? Gets up above, yeah. Place is gonna like it. Uh, getting some used to to know where things at. Wrong way. Such a rebellion. Been through here and I'm in this place. Where are we going? Oh. Oops. You 
can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. Saber to Tiger. Revelio. Hello, hello. Don't mind if I run through your stuff, do you? More than Sasquatch stuff. I'm gonna call it Sasquatch at least. Alright, we'll wait. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood? The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons of the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. About that one, though. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Heckett a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Heckett know to expect you. Revelio. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. Yeah. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Shut the fuck up. Checkerboard blue? Is that a wand handle? It is. Huh. Nice. Rebellion. 
I guess not. Or if I, there is, I might have already given it. Like some kind soul help me. Huh? What's up? Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? No. Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. <laughs> Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Well, I've done the same, you piece of... Just joking. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. <laughs> well, that ain't me. See ya. <laughs> Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. D Whoever hid my gobstones that I got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Where am I going? Oh, I don't want... What? I don't mean to track that. Shit. I want to track this. Rebellion. Wrong but there we go. Yo, yo, yo. Perhaps I'll come back to this. Hmm. This may have level two. What? What? Not high enough. A bunch of bullshit. I don't think I'm ready for this just yet. Or. Fire making charm to can do this story. What? What? I should come back to the but, 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 but. How the hell I do that? Rattle by. 
I guess I have to do this. Oh wait, I thought that's where I was going. Son of a bitch. Never mind. Holy. I just been running around in circles. Apparently. Oh, do 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 do. Don't get two cookies simply because you had one victory over. Shut up. Here we are. Yo, teach me this spell, lady. Ah, I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Play? What? Alright. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Crossed ones. Alright. Level ten. Rebellion. Here. Ugh. Excuse me. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. How nice to see you, my young friend. Hmm. 
Lumos. Revelio. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Mm-hmm. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Oh, oh yeah. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Well, calm down, lady. about you there's strong competition ahead but keep this up and you could be the next school champion brilliant count me in i shall in fact the second jewel is ready when you are and as a fully initiated member you now have access to the official crossed ones training dummy very good way to master spell combinations come and see me and i'll set it up again congratulations on your first crossed ones victory well fought well thank you See you back here again. Need to do another one. Uh, where are you at? There you go. It's a cheap. Next time you need a partner for cross swans, don't hesitate to call on me. Kidoki. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes, it is. Uh, I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? I'll do one more yes, turn this time. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Calm down. Apologies oh, three. Is this, is this fair?
Oh, you kid. I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Seems I'm out of the tournament thanks to you. Thanks to you. You could have gone a bit easier on me. What? That was a three on two, bitch. Perhaps I should stick to potions. Well, complete the round. Alright. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all of your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Oh, I'm... What the hell is that? Oh, that's a attack. There, that's it. Good one. Let me that's it. Let me You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Hmm. Revelio. Simon's all finished.
Alright. Lead the way. Come now, Annabelle. It was a long time ago. Oh. Hell, run, dude, run. Zenobia, what did you need help with? I need someone to collect my oh, crystals that, that. Have been hidden in very high places all over the school. Well, I knew that. I didn't even have to. I thought you thought we were just gonna check. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you, and that you found success in your. I finished all yes, of the I tasks did. you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate. And keep your wand steady. Good work. That was simple. I don't have to wait this fucking thing. Alright, We're gonna go back up a dare. Oh, I have a trap. It's up to you. Incendio, getting it. Keep at it. And you like try that? not to incinerate yourself. No, I'll try not to. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes.
That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. You want fire? What do you do? Incendio. Nothing. All right. Talk to Sebastian. How do I get rid of this bomb? Unclimbable wards. This. And this. And this. And this. I'll climb it later. What's that? Hell with butterflies. Right. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Hmm. I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Hmm. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light, just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try.
it's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Hmm. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. What was that? That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book? Revelio. That one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. That's why I put that one. Fuck it. Go, 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 go. Should be in the clip. This is a need for us to be skulking about. Silence is great. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne. Rebellion turns to problems. Because Merlin knows. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help her? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Hmm. I'll be quieter than a jobbernob. I don't know what that means. But you said there wasn't gonna be none more people. Well, suppose not. Haha. <laughs> Outing. Um, I guess you can't see this if I stay behind the wall. Who have we here? 
Ah, oh, shit. Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty. You'll get caught. Peeves, don't you. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him, or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Can I trust you? Well, uh, kind of, I don't know why some of these are often. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Oh. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this on. Uh, where is that? Uh, where is that repair? There it is. What? I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Oh, I thought that was it. I guess. Damn it. Where might this lead? Well, so, well yeah, might as well just just map some of this shit. What's this? Dungeon. Revelio. Incendio. Hmm. 
Prepare her. Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Not surprising. Cards are ready. This must be the way forward, but to where? Hmm. Rebellion. Gotta be a way to increase my inventory. Oh, 
is a book after all. Bro, I didn't even need that fire spell, did I? Just some bullshit. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. 
But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> I'm kind of so excited to leave him hanging. Hmm. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. In center. Where am I going? Turn to place for big classroom. All right, I'll do that. Hmm. Oh, you Hello. cannot be serious. Goblins working with rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox. It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. 
Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. All right. Big map. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okie dokie. Hmm. Revelio. All right, can I open this down? Learn about mandrakes. I want them, I want to hear their screams of pain.
Revelio. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Shit. Like I haven't heard that before. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's yeah. see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Let me hear your screams of pain. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. Huh. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Uh, he he going to London now. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Yes, so. Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even hmm. with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Nifflers fancy or roses? 
Ditany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Oh, this is cool. Huh. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Ditany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Who's Mr. Pruitt? Now remember Hello. Saw you on your way Hello. to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. All right. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Well, thank Excuse you. me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, Ravenclaws too. At least you did. <laughs> Here we are. Home of the Chinese chop. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost mm. lost a thumb once. Don't worry. Nurse Blaney put it back on. Uh. Trust me. You do not want to go through that. Uh. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. How do I do that? Uh, L1. Ah, okay. Look at that. <clears throat> They can get their chompers on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. <laughs> I was imagining it wasn't a dummy. I saw the board and everything. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls and hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. <laughs> Fucking thing blows up. Huh. Uh, excuse me. Reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. <laughs> we shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. 
And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Uh, I won't be rude. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. And you can be a real dick in this game, can't you? I bother you, socks, and we do too. Relishing their new pots only cost me my damned hearing. Shut up. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as potions. Kindness and concern are as necessary as Excuse me. And a resource me. indeed, your field guide. Excuse me. Someone from the ministry guarding mm. the school. Revelli and Slimton hogs me. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent. It's down here. Potions. Hmm. All right, let's begin. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Hmm. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. I do just like watching the call it. Could be disastrous. Got the salt. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. 
And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. Bitch, it was skill. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after well, the rumors yeah, of a goblin rude. rebellion. Interrupted her. Proficiency. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an auror. I wish he talked about it more. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganweld potion. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from a fellow Ravenclaw. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really. Oh. But I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. <laughs> Guess I'll collect this stuff first. What's up, bro? My Wiganwell potion is utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. I thought rubbish. Fine job brewing your first Wiccan World potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Uh. Well, you call it no bitch. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fupa feather. As you'll Fupa. already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Not Fupa. Or Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll get you the Fupa feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. <laughs> you're making some, uh, of the kush? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> oh, wow, man. Where's this feather? Your potion should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Oh, I got you. Wink, wink, <laughs> Mr. White. <laughs> what do you want? Professor, what should I be doing again? You should have collected oh, the ingredients that. from my office and begun brewing a potion at your cauldron. Finish your potion, and then return to me. Oh, okay, don't, 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 don't be so rude. Alright, uh... 
Wait, why am I going over here? I was over there. The Didney or crush it. Wrong answer could result in the unfortunate Ooh. loss of your eyebrows. What was I doing? Uh, this. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Uh oh. Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -oh. <laughs> Get it! Get it! Now, Mr. Weasley. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor uh -huh. again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Hmm, I wonder who that would be. Dude, you were supposed to make the good gush. What the fuck happened? Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. I'd better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. Bro, I didn't know I was working with just some measly tubic backwood redneck. What the fuck? I ain't gonna get my weed or meth now for nothing. Yo, what's up? I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. What, Weasley. What, what, what are you talking about? Never happened. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I have no idea what you mean. Uh, I guess he caught me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. <laughs> I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Bro, what the fuck? You're gonna get us all in trouble. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. I hope so. I want that good kush. Oh, my robes are going to reap from Gary's inspiration. Hmm. Alright, oh, we jump. Quest. Guess we're gonna go with you. Hmm. All right, what's, what's the time? Uh, yeah, we get time. We'll continue. Off on that another it? adventure, are we? Relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty.
Where they're in the lucky. Is that Hagrid's hut? He won't be around it this time, especially during the 1800s. Actually, I'm assuming he won't be this old. <laughs> Looks like it, though. Rebellion. Business in Hogsmeade. Rebellion. So what you? Who are you? Hmm. How nice to see you, my young friend. Stonehenge, it's up here. Oh, this just. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Snap away into Hogwarts, I guess. Hmm. Fuck these balloons. Dingin. Yeah. What's up? This looks intriguing. How do? Ah, it is good to see you, my friend. Over Handy here. resource indeed, your field guide. Rebellion. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh shit. <laughs> playing uh, to the chickens? Oh, I thought he was playing a violin. What the fuck? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm kind of dumb. Rebellion. Hmm. go sorceress. Huh? Oh dear. 
I'm rocking it. Rebellion. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Hmm. Never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. I guess uh gotta upgrade my stuff. Might as well because it'll help me. I wonder. No, I don't want that. Sir, what do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> the better than most other places, too. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lord Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. Huh. It's the standard price. Okay. My prices are low enough already, you see. Uh, well, uh, uh, shit. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> My ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I gotta sell some of my stuff, that's what you can do. Um... I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Peel. I want this for Dora. See you again sometime. Oh, yeah. I never thought rebellion. Take 
can't see underneath, so might as well keep it. Since it is high level. Revelio. All right. What's what's up? It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmead. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Uh, well, shit. You put me in a difficult position. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Sorona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, Try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Okay. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Rebellion. You're a student? Yeah. What's up? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see... I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Oh. Okay. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it... I may be able to bring my father some peace. Hmm. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. 
It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm. You seem to think I might have heard of the bath pinch medleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The pinch medley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. Well, I didn't know we that. are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Mm, okay. Sure. Mm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the right. astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Rebellion. They must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <clears throat> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stay with me! You've come to the wrong place. <laughs> I could do this all day. <laughs> I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Hard on it. Do you really think you can I'm not going anywhere. Oh, turn that son of a bitch in the chip. Rebellion. Such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Hmm. Leech juice. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what the hell? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Can you tell me Ooh. why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Oh. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. 
Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. All right. You're a researcher. I didn't know Lord that was legal Treadwell at this time. At your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Hmm. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. So then you put them for me. Fire. Incendiary. Oh, yep. The flames make the pyre sink. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow's, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Hmm. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Revelio. Well, interesting. Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Hmm. 
Well, I guess we'll meet Mr. Ollivander next time. And we'll end it here. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, share, and or subscribe. And I'll see ya.